So these eggs are not expected to hatch until Wednesday, which is today's Sunday. So we have quite a few days. And look. So now I have a little bit of a dilemma because I really wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Um, I mean, it's easy enough to set up a brood box, but um, the incubator, the incubator uh, was not on the proper setting. Um, you know, usually you add a little bit more water. You go into lockdown with the incubator and you build up the humidity so it's there's a lot of humidity so the birds can hatch out easily but apparently this guy had no problem hatching out so we'll see what happens but how cute so i always feel bad if they you know a couple times i've had one hatch out and um the others didn't and they require I feel like they require a lot of attention um, you know they cheap a lot I think they get nervous that they're by themselves so I hold them a lot I mean these are I care for these animals these are my pets and uh, pets with benefits let's say because the eggs are great and then this tiny I usually fill up a lid of like a milk jug or a water jug and uh, with some rocks and uh, they always find it they're always it's a good size for them I don't have to worry about anybody drowning so yeah and then I just grind up the food so it's And usually after they drink water, I find that they get really tired. So you do have to be careful because they could fall asleep in the water. That's why I always try to make the water. Um, it's something I'm, I'm constantly on top of, making sure they have enough water. And um, that the container is not too big because I have had a couple of quail that have fallen asleep really close, really close to the water. And uh, that's one thing you don't want is for, um, you don't want anybody to drown. Oh, 